Emotionality or neuroticism. Freud used the term neurosis to describe this condition. He said it was marked by mental distress or emotional suffering, but also to cope with normal demands of life. He suggested that everyone shows some sign of neurosis, but that we differ in our degree of suffering. Today, neuroticism refers to the tendency to experience negative feelings. It also refers to as the pain circuit. Those high in neuroticism may experience one specific negative feeling, such as anxiety, anger, sadness, vulnerability, or depression, but are likely to experience several of these emotions. And I will speak more in depth about those feelings in the next video. People high in eroticism or emotionality are reactive. They respond emotionally to events that would not affect most people. Their reactions tend to be more intense than normal. They are more likely to interpret ordinary situations as threatening and minor frustrations as difficult. Their negative emotional reactions tend to persist for longer periods of time, which means they are often in a bad mood. Difficulty regulating the emotionality can reduce a neurotic's ability to think or make decisions or cope with stress. We discussed this in the previous video about how to understand feelings and emotions, and I will add it to the end of this video for those of you that want to go and watch it for educational purposes to understand how emotions are integrated more into uh, the personality traits. At the other end of the scale, individuals who score low in neuroticism are less upset. They're also less reactive. They tend to be calm, stable, and free from persistent negative feelings. If you do not have a lot of negative feelings, it does not mean that you experience a lot of positive feelings. Positive emotions is a component of the extroversion domain, so do not mix them up.